Stevens, founder and CEO of You're the Book Press and editor-in-chief of Self Pub Magazine. We're here in the studio today with author Donald Renzel for a little bit of a person behind the author interview. Can I ask the really terrible questions today? If you must. Oh, <laughs> what's the craziest thing you do? Uh, <laughs> uh, rock climbing. No. Yes. You rock climb? Yeah. Okay, where have you rock climbed? Oh, it was I was attacked. It was on the Via Ferrata in West Virginia. That's like it's not even straight up, is it? That's like backwards, I think. <laughs> Some of it, right? But you're 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 clipped in. My 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 best rock climbing moments happen on the the wall at the YMCA. <laughs> so, <laughs> what was that like? Is it scary? Yeah, you're climbing up and you're going over some rickety bridges and rappelling. <laughs> Like, it feels like free fall. Kind of. Yeah? Yes. Interesting. Stimulating. I would never peg you for a rock climber. Do you do other, like, uh, what do they call them? Action sports? Uh, outdoor activities? Yeah, downhill and cross-country skiing. <laughs> Bike riding. Do you do this with your family, or are you the lone wolf? Uh, some. Some. Who goes with you? Uh, kids. <laughs> the wife won't. The wife won't go with yeah. you. What's her name? Stacy. Stacy. Well, big shout out to Stacy today. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> and you have children? Two children. Uh, Hannah's age 20 and Madison's age 15. Oh, okay. So any chance that Hannah has been through this job-seeking experience that your book is shaped around? Uh, she has read it. She has first-hand knowledge of the book she's designed, helped design the front cover. Oh, okay. So she's got marketable skills for sure. Yes. Has she interviewed yet for a job? No. No. She's still in college? She is. Oh, okay. Well, I can't wait to get the first-hand knowledge of uh, how, the, how the tips and tricks from your book work out for her. It's good to have a successful daughter. What, uh, what got you into writing in the first place? Well, I work in business and I started teaching. I'm an adjunct teacher at a business school. And I found that the students uh, did not really know how to present themselves or prepare properly for the interview and job seeking. So I took it upon myself and I have a passion for helping people. So I wanted to write the book and that was the genesis of it. That's amazing. Did, were you able to write it while you were at work? No. No. <laughs> I had a feeling that didn't go together. So where was your best writing time? Um, sometimes it was dropping Hannah off. She works at a music studio, and I would wait for her, and I would type. Sitting uh, in the waiting room yes, or the car? in the car or in the waiting room and have several hours uninterrupted. Yeah, we're to the wise authors, so you want to get the job done. It's those free minutes, right? Right, consistent. Was that uh, something like a habit that you built over time or something that you you would write in, you know, discrete weeks or months and then not touch it for a while? Yeah, it was, uh, I think it was a process where it started slowly and then as it built, trying to finish it, it became more consistent. But mm. yeah, it was... What were some of the biggest hurdles? Life, family... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, some of the research too. So research, right? I know when I look at nonfiction books that uh, have some textbook layout to them, uh, was the formatting an issue for you? You seem very skilled with with the the word processor. Uh, it was some, but I got help with it though, editing it. Yeah, I mean the bullet points are just gorgeous. I know you did that yourself. Uh, tell us a little about we see second edition now. Well, second edition I came out with, I added a few things to the book, and I also added resources that you can uh, get online. Uh, I put some of the chapters online. Oh, so someone could, you know, read and, and download a chapter as like a course or what? Yes, it's a course. Uh, I have a resume course, uh, how to build a portfolio course, how to write a cover letter. And then finally, I'm working on, uh, it's called personal branding as a course. Mm. Um, 
any chance you get into asking or telling the reader, you know, what sorts of questions to expect? Oh, absolutely. There's questions that you will be asking in an interview. And like what? Like, uh, why, why should we choose you for this position? Well, because I'm awesome. How'd I do? Uh, <laughs> well, welcome to our company. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Um, so, do you have brothers and sisters? Are you the first author in the family? <laughs> Two brothers, yes, first author. I do have a brother that works as a director in Hollywood. Really? Do you think this is going to be made into a movie? If there's any way possible, I will. <laughs> Who would play you on screen? <laughs> Ooh. That's a good one. <laughs> Aston Kutcher. Yeah. All right. I can see that. I can definitely see that. <laughs> All right. Well, I can't wait to walk the red carpet with you, Donald. I'm looking forward to the movie. Thanks so much for joining us today.